Welcome back. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Our consultant on this segment is Tindai Mutana from Gabriel's Arc. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Anne. Today we're talking about, you know, taking our brilliant ideas and making them into a business. An idea can only remain as an idea uh, if you don't implement it. So how do you... Make an idea last. I think... Part of what makes a great idea is not only the, the essence of it, but the ability to actually birth it. One of the things that is becoming evident within the market is that we don't spend enough time in what I'd call laboring um, in birthing an idea. That perhaps is, as people ponder during the season, mm -hmm. is the first thing that I would perhaps talk about. How long uh, are we willing to ponder? Now, not only ponder, but prepare and then birth. Now, birthing is an experience that is known by many Kenyans um, and is not one that people engage in um, with the desire to abort. That, for me, is perhaps the starting point in, in any great idea, going the distance. But one of the things to also consider in a great idea is like a seed, what is the expression of this idea going to look like mm -hmm. once it comes to full maturity? Is it going to have any relevance within the market? Again, another trend that has perhaps been, and I'd say a dominant trend within this century, is that we've seen very few social ideas. I like that, that um, analogy of, of the pool bathing, that labor is required before before bathing and um, wondering, you know, does that mean in terms of, I mean, there are some children that come in, you know, the labor is very short <laughs> and others is longer. Right. What makes a difference in terms of labor period? In terms of uh, laboring an idea, in a sense, what would have the environment? And I think um, as, a, as a woman, as a mother, two things that I would probably presume and that these are what I will actually use as the parameters in business is one, diet, two, environment, uh, and three, exercise. Because ultimately, your ability to actually birth an idea mm -hmm. is going to be a function of those, I'd say, three parameters. Mm -hmm. What has your diet been? Um, in, in the time of your gestation period? Mm -hmm. um, what environment have you placed yourself within? Because your health is going to determine, in a sense, the expression of your idea. One of the things that we need to learn again uh, in this generation is the idea of, one, excellence, but two, we've got to be able to be diligent enough to excel. So like in the case of home serenity, you have behavior change in terms of it's not just cleaning for cleaning, it's cleaning for health. They bring a product of we will actually, you know, clean out everything that will cause you to be unwell, <laughs> whether in the office or the house. When I think of home serenity, I think of primarily two markets out there. You think of the, um, we're talking about birthing, um, mother. Now, Mother and father have lived together prior to the child coming forth. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a whole new season coming forth, which means the level of care, the level of cleanliness has to change. There's a new tenant coming into the house. Mm -hmm. Now, you took a look at their pre-tenancy product. That's really what we're talking about. But, you see, you cannot carry the same behavior that you had now, in part of promoting the product, what you've also got to promote is the behavior change. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the synergy that we're looking to create. And that, for me, is what makes a good idea. That you're not just selling a product, but in the selling of your product, you're actually promoting a behavior change mm -hmm. that actually lasts. Because that's what we're not seeing enough of in this generation. You know, we're not seeing innovation in the sense of innovation being able to actually change the way we live. It's same old story, 
our lifestyles are not changed by the marketplace. Yet, the marketplace is perhaps one of the most significant places where we could actually change the way we live. Probably as a parting shot, maybe you can conclude our discussion, you know, in terms of turning our ideas into a reality with all the different dynamics that we've talked about. What, how would you summarize it and what would be the benefits of going that way? I think, and you've mentioned it, the, the essence of a good idea is in its benefit, which means that even though there is a process, what we also must look at is the benefit. The question is, can you see the benefit? Because with every benefit, there'll be a cost. But the benefit, the benefit must outweigh the cost. Mm -hmm. And that's what you have got to keep. You've got to keep reminding yourself as an individual, what's the benefit? What's the benefit? And if it's more than just about you, then for me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. Tendai, thank you very much for coming to share your wisdom with us on the show. It's been a pleasure having you. Welcome. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. If you have a great idea that will change society, go for it. Have a great week and Merry Christmas. to success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank, you are listening, caring partner.